Okay, so we are, that's that's what we are setting. We are setting this ar array that's going to be returned to the integer array's length. And at any time, the, the numbers in this array, the length of this array could be the length of the integer array or less. Okay, so if the integer array, the particular index, then you know the that particular number we are referring to, is a greater than number, then let's add it to this greater numbers to be returned array. Okay. And so let's add it to, hold on, this array, right? But we can't, we can't simply use, we can't simply use this index to represent the index of greater numbers to be returned. We can't, because what if the very first element is not greater than number? Okay, now that which it checks the second element. But the second element won't have an index of zero. We'll have an index of one, you know, for the original original array. And so we can't use this in, um, index to ref refer to, you know, the slots or the, in the indices of this greater numbers to be returned. So let's create another variable outside the loop. Okay. I'm going. It's going to be an integer to rep represents the index. Okay, or to keep track of the the the, 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 in the indices of this particular array. So int. It's just going to be a variable, an integer variable. I'm going to call it greater numbers to be returned index. I know it's a really long name, but I just want this to be clear. I'm going to set it to zero. And so if we fi find a number that's greater than the number, okay, if we find a number on the integer array that's greater than the number, of, um, what's stored in the number, then in this particular index, in the first element, or the first, yeah, as, as the first element in this, Greater numbers to be returned. Set it equal to the number in that particular number in, in the integer array. Okay. So I hope this is clear. I know the names are long, but I but I just you know change it to something short if it makes sense to you that way. But I hope this is clear. And so if at any time we find another number, you know we we are basically adding adding it to greater numbers to be returned based on its index. But the thing is, we've initialized it to zero over here. And so if we don't increase index to uh, by one, then index will always be zero. And so it, at any time, if we add an, an element to the greater numbers to be returned array, then let's increase the greater number to be returned index by one, right? Let's increase it by one. We can use plus plus, or we can we can say greater numbers to return is equal to greater numbers to return plus one. Same thing. We are we are we're saying that what we are saying that add one to what's what's already stored in greater numbers to return. If it's zero, then it's going to be zero plus one, which is one, and one will be returned. Oh, sorry, one one, be one one will be stored in greater numbers to return index here. And so for the very first time, if we find a number that's if we find a number in the integer array that's greater than the number, we st we store it in greater numbers to be returned. The index will be zero. So that's the first element in greater numbers to be returned. We increase greater numbers to be returned index by one. And so greater numbers to be returned index will be one, right? That means if we find a number again that's greater than the number variable here, if we find a number in the integer array that's greater than the number here, that means we found a second number that's that's greater than um, you know this number here. We found a second number, so we have to store it in the greater numbers to return in uh, return array, but in the second slot, which will have an index of one. In, in so that's why we are increasing greater numbers to return index each time. Okay, if we find an, we find a number, or basically if we store a number in greater numbers to be returned using that index, we increase the greater number to return index so that if there is another number to be stored in the greater numbers to return array we use the next index the, the next you know index that's why we're increasing this otherwise we won't be able to otherwise we'll always be dealing with one index okay always basically basically storing multiple numbers in that same slot overriding the previous value i hope this is clear okay and so by by the time this loop is done greater numbers to return will have all the numbers all, all the numbers stored all the numbers greater than n number okay in the integer array but the thing is remember we initialized the array over here 
we set the array, we initialize it to the integer array length, or the length right? And so if the, if the original integer array has, let's say, five numbers, this will also have five slots. If at the end of the day, we end up having only three numbers in the integer array greater than number, it still has five slots. But the thing is, those three numbers will be stored in the greater numbers to return the array. But then the other two will be stored at zero, will be stored in there at zero. And you, we will see that. We'll see that in a second. All right, so at this time, after this loop, right, we'll have all the numbers stored in greater numbers to return index. And so all we have to do, sorry, at this point, we'll have all the numbers stored in greater numbers to be returned, which is the array, which is the array. And so once we are done with the loop in the method, let's go ahead as a last thing, return an integer array, which is greater numbers to return. Remember, we defined this method to return an integer array, okay? And so we are doing that. We are returning an integer array. Okay, it was defined as an integer array, greater numbers to return. So let's return that because that will have all the greater numbers, all the numbers in the integer array greater than the number, right? Okay, so we're done with the method itself. Now in the main method, let's basically define an array we're going to pass into this method, right? So let's define an integer array. We, it doesn't matter if we call it integer array. It doesn't matter. So in an integer array called Let's call it integer array. It doesn't matter if it's the same name uh, as this. You know, these are two different names. Okay, the scope of this variable is within the method, and the scope of this, uh, okay, the scope of this array is within the method here, and the scope of this array is within the main method. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you call them the same name. All right, so integer array we are setting it to. Now let's let's initialize it with some values, right? And if you're initializing it with values like you know, you can just put them in curly braces this way, separated by commas. You don't have to use a new keyword and do another basically create another step of um, storing the numbers. You can just put the numbers in, in curly braces like this. So I'm going to store a bunch of numbers, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the integer array, this is the integer array. Let's also create a variable for the number, right? And so I'm going to create an in integer number, set it to equal to initial, let's set it equal to, let's say, 5. And so what this means is once we call this method and we pass, once we call this method greater numbers and we pass in this array and pass in a number, the number 5, it should basically look through this array and return all the numbers in this array greater than 5. And so it should return 6, 7, and 8. Right. And so Let's just do that. But first of all, right? Let's call. Um, let's call greater, right? Let's call the, the method greater numbers. We defined greater numbers to store. Or, or basically, we, sorry, we define greater numbers to accept in an integer array, which we have here as integer array right here. So let's pass that in here. At the same time, we defined this greater numbers method to accept the second argument which is number which we have here as number doesn't matter if they're the same name like I said this number variable the scope of this number variable of this number variable here is within the greater numbers method and the scope of this number variable is within the main method so it doesn't matter if they're the same name they are they, are, they, are, they look the same but they're different they are like twins but they're different okay and so we have the number here so we can pass it here as a second argument. Okay. But we know that this method returns an array. It returns greater numbers to return. Basically an array of all the numbers in integer array greater than number. And so if it's, if it's returning an array, right, then let's create another variable to store that, right? We can basically do that here. You don't have to, to do it on two separate lines. We can just say, we can create an, we can create an integer array right call it we can call it doesn't matter we can call it the same name as the other the, the greater numbers to be returned we can do that but let's see let's call this rather greater numbers returned right and it's also going to be an integer array and so that integer array greater numbers to be returned that we are returning over here 
okay by by calling this to returning the greater numbers to be returned here and we are storing that in greater numbers returned okay so it kind of makes sense with, with, with the naming all right so this array now will have all the numbers in this array greater than number greater than five and so all we have to do now is go through them basically basically go go through the array and display them right and so we can create a for loop just like this okay using index setting index to zero making sure that index is a valid index index is less than the length of this because now we're going to go through this array now okay over here we're going through the integer array that was passed into the greater numbers method and so over here we set an index to zero and we are going through the greater numbers returned to display all of them right so as long as the index is less than greater numbers returned oops greater numbers returned dot length remember every uh, every array has a public field called length that stores the length of that array and so checking to make sure index is a valid index in this greater greater numbers returned array do what's in the loop and before you come back up to check up to check to see if index is less than greater numbers returned at length add one to index and then continue make and check to make sure if index is is a, is a number or basically check to make sure if index is an index that can be used to refer to an element in this greater numbers returned array and so if that index is a valid index that can be used to refer to a number under greater number numbers returned array then print it out right so let's have a simple well not well let's have a you know a regular system that out that print ln statement that's going to display that particular number right and so we use the name of the array its index right that particular particular index to refer to that particular element in that array okay